Hi guys, so today I know I look really bad but uh, I'm going to be doing your first impression on these multi-purpose makeup brushes. These are impersonations of the artist makeup brushes, if you don't know what they are. They're all over the internet at the moment. They've got like cheap ones that look like this on eBay from China. But I wanted a full set of them and I saw Sophie Does Nails. Um, I actually showed these in my eBay haul that I've just uploaded. Let me just close the box. Um, my eBay haul that I just uploaded. So yeah, this these brushes are in it. And I saw Sophie does makeup do a like first impression slash review of these. And I started I want to start doing that with eBay things because she does eBay finds videos and they're so fun to watch. So I want to start doing them because if you didn't know I'm an eBay aholic. It's pretty bad. Okay. I've managed to hold all the brushes in this time. But this is what it looks like. There's five face brushes and then there's five eye or like all over face brushes sort of thing. So I'm just going to do a little review of these and just use them all over my face. So I've gotten a bit closer and first brush I'm going to use is this one which is the second largest brush uh, because I saw on what was it on the eBay thing that I actually got it from because uh, you can go on like purchase history I saw this little picture and it basically explained what all the brushes were meant to be used for I mean I might not use them for that because Sophie didn't in her video I'll try and link her video down below or her eBay playlist because it's so interesting to watch and even ask like Sophie and Jess, not Sophie, Immy and Jess, I watch those videos like 24 times a day. Can you see that? Let me just fix my light a bit. Can you see that? I don't know. Um, and the foundation I'm using is the Rimmel Match Perfection foundation. So I'm just going to take the excess off my hand because it's on my face. Listen, like when you when Sophie put it up on her face because she's the biggest brush she put it up to her face and it made like a cracking noise I don't know how this is blending oh it's blending pretty well actually um it made a cracking noise and she pressed it on her face I did that with the big brush and it made that noise and honestly first of all it scared the life out of me and second of all it maybe it's just with the big brush because it hasn't really done it with all of the other ones so, let me just look what it, see what it looks like. So it's blending on really smooth. And these brushes are so soft. Some of these brushes don't work for blending in your foundation, like the littler ones. Because in that playlist with the um, video with these brushes, she also did a video using one eBay brush on its own and she used it on her face and she couldn't like swirl it so she had to like go like this and pat it and then swirl it but this has blended pretty quickly um pretty efficiently it's got rid of all the discoloration in my face just blend it on my ears it's kind of hard to get around your nose but there are smaller brushes to do that with okay so that was the first bit done now it's time for concealer i'm just using the fit me Concealer because it's my favorite. I'm just gonna put it underneath my eyes. Sorry if you can hear my fan in the background, it's just very, very hot in my room at the moment. So I'm just applying this on all of my problemed areas. If you don't know why I apply concealer, that I basically have. I don't even know, I think it's rosacea. Um, I'll go for this brush. This is like the fourth face brush. It's like very small. So I'll just start blending these in. Uh, basically, it is just like rosacea or something on my face. Because it's not acne, but I, it's not even spots. It's just little bumps on my face. And they just get really red. So I like to make sure they're covered. So let's go 
underneath my eyes or is it like this maybe i don't know it's so strange like i don't know how to use it like i don't know how to apply the products with this actually it's blending really well with the foundation and these brushes are good because you can just like swipe them whereas normal brushes you have to like Pat them and it takes so long. Just covering my red eyebrows because my sister's done them for me. I actually trimmed my eyebrows as well. I think they look pretty good. Okay, so that's the like concealer done. And then I'm gonna take the biggest brush, which is huge. And I'm going to put on my powder. Now this is a loose powder so it might not work as well. This is a collection sheer loose powder. Okay, whoa, a lot has like fallen out of here. I think it fell on the floor. Um, I'm just going to dip it into the lid. And I feel like this brush would be better for um foundation. Because I know I keep referring to Sophie's video. But when she did like the brushes like review you need these brushes are not good for applying powder um she did it with this and it took like two seconds to do it with this brush so i'm probably going to use this for foundation and probably the other one as well but all right this is like not working <laughs> so much powder is falling off this brush right Blend it on my forehead. I've got powder everywhere. One second, I think that might be my sister. Really sorry guys, my camera cut out and I didn't notice. But I finished my face because I decided to do my base first. So the brushes that I used, I used this brush here, which is the third biggest brush, I think. So the third biggest brush and I just used it for blush and bronzer. The blush I used was the Maybelline Face Studio Blush in Pink Amber, which is just a really pretty mauve colour. Mauve? Mauve? I don't know how you say it. And then I went for kind of a lighter contour with the um, Body Shop Shade 1 Bronzer. And then with the smallest face brush I put on this MUA highlighter. Um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Um, so now I'm going to try and attempt to do my eyebrows. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. So I'm not sure which brush to go for because this one's a lot denser, but it's a lot bigger on my eyebrow, but this one's smaller, but it's a lot fluffier. Maybe I'll try and use this one at the start and then this one near the back, I don't know. Um, but lately I've been loving for my eyebrows the colour tattoo in the shade Permanent Taupe. It's just, I don't know, it just works. So I'm just going to use the bigger brush. It's kind of hard to get the product on here. And I just need a mirror now. And I will just try and hopefully apply my eyebrows. I'm only going to do one on camera because my eyebrows take too long. Okay, this is not really doing anything. Can't really get any definition with this. This is definitely not. Whoa! Dropped on the floor. This is sort of like filling them in a little bit, but like very naturally. I'm going to try it with a little brush now. I've actually just dropped it on the floor. I'm just going to try it with a little brush. So it's definitely easier to get product on the little brush. Actually, too much product. Let's see if this fills them in better. Again, you can't really get definition, but... This one fills my eyebrows in a lot better than the other one did. 
Okay, I can sort of get a bit of definition now. Alright. So that's one eyebrow. And then I'm going to fill the other eyebrow in with my just regular brow brush. And see how different they look. I feel, feel, actually fill my eyebrows in really badly. But I can get a lot more definition with my normal brush than I can with the other one. But it doesn't look too bad. I think it'd be quite natural for like school or something. So yeah, it's not too bad. So now I have some eyeshadow brushes and the eyeshadow I'm going to, the eyeshadow palette I'm going to use is my Naked palette. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply an eyeshadow all over my lid and I think I'm going to use this little brushy. Um, and I'm going to take this colour here and just apply that all over my eye. You can't really see this colour anyway just because it's like a kind of a transition colour. Um, so I'm just going to apply it on my eye, it's a base. I'm not really sure how to like hold this brush. Okay, so now I'm just going to take Sidecar, which is a really pretty sparkly bronze. And just apply this on my eye. Oh, this is not going on how it normally does. It's kind of looking a bit patchy. But I can get into like corners of my eyes really well. Okay, I've sort of like fixed it a bit. It just needs a few little layers. So. Okay, I think I've kind of fixed it a bit now. So it doesn't look as patchy. Yeah, I think that's a good base. Now I'm going to take the little no I'm not I'm gonna take this brush which is quite a big like brush and it's like a crease brush and I'm gonna take whoa book smog and dark horse that looks black let me just okay there we go so I'm just going to apply this into my crease And then just apply a little bit on my outer corner. Now, I can't really blend with this brush. But, I can try. I mean, not with this brush, obviously. But with the other two brushes, I might be able to. So, I'm just going to go clean this brush so I can use it for my inner corner highlight. So next is just eyeliner and mascara. You don't really need to see that because it's what I always do. This is just the Master Ink in matte. And then I've really been loving this mascara lately. It's the Mega Volume Miss Manga Punky Mascara. It's actually really amazing and it does kind of clumpy lashes together a little bit. But I don't really mind it too much because it holds my curl all day. So I don't really care. So the final thing I'm going to do is put on a bright purple lipstick. Because I kind of wanted to do it just because Sophie put on a bright purple lipstick in her video so I thought why not um, put one on in this video and this is quite a similar colour to hers I do have her lipstick somewhere I actually just lost it and I was gonna wear it in this video but I couldn't find it And just clean it up so this is the finished makeup look using just the artist brushes or artist inspired brushes so yeah really hope you guys enjoyed this video comment like and subscribe really hope I help somebody out there decide whether they're gonna buy these or not the only thing I will say is my nose contour is not very good just because I'm not that good at nose contouring so yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye guys, see you in the next video. Bye!